In the heart of Central Asia lies the Taklamakan Desert, a vast and unforgiving expanse often called the Sea of Death. For centuries this desert has stood as a symbol of nature's harshest extremes, a place where life seems impossible, and survival is a daily struggle against the elements. Its endless dunes stretch for hundreds of kilometers, creating a landscape that appears both beautiful and desolate from above. Yet, in a remarkable twist of fate, China is now rewriting the story of this barren land. Against all odds the Taklamakan is being transformed into a thriving oasis where the impossible is becoming reality. Through vision, determination, and scientific ingenuity, a new chapter is unfolding in the heart of the desert. Today, millions of fish swim in crystal clear ponds where only shifting sands once existed. This is the result of a bold ecological experiment, one that has brought life to a place long thought lifeless. These artificial ponds are not just a testament to human innovation, but a symbol of hope for arid regions everywhere. By constructing vast aquaculture ponds, scientists and engineers are doing more than just farming fish. They are cultivating hope, creating jobs, and developing a blueprint for sustainable living in some of the world's harshest environments. Their work is inspiring communities and experts far beyond the desert's edge. This groundbreaking project began with a revolutionary discovery, a hidden sea of ancient water trapped beneath the desert sands. Unlocking this underground reservoir was the key that made the dream possible, providing the lifeblood needed to sustain new ecosystems. That discovery opened the door to transforming lifeless dunes into a living laboratory. Here, technology and nature work hand in hand, demonstrating how innovation can restore balance and create new opportunities where none seem to exist. As we journey through this story, we'll witness how the desert's formidable challenges have become opportunities for creativity and resilience. Each step forward is a testament to human adaptability and the power of collaboration. Ultimately, this is not a tale of conquering the desert, but of learning to coexist with it. By nurturing new life in the sea of death, people are forging a future that benefits both humanity and the planet, proving that even the harshest landscapes can be transformed with vision, care, and respect for nature. To truly grasp the scale and audacity of this achievement, you must first understand the Taklamakan Desert itself, a place both mesmerizing and merciless. Stretching across more than 330,000 square kilometers in China's Xinjiang region, the Taklamakan is one of the largest shifting sand deserts on Earth, a sea of golden dunes that seems to go on forever. Its very name means, go in and you won't come out, a chilling warning shaped by centuries of stories about deadly heat, bone-chilling cold, and relentless ever-moving sand. For travelers and explorers, the Taklamakan has always been a place of both fascination and fear, a land where survival is never guaranteed. Here, dunes rise hundreds of meters high, sculpted by fierce winds, while rainfall is so rare that life can only cling to the very edges. Only where rivers, fed by melting snow from distant mountains, snake their way into the desert do narrow oases form fragile ribbons of green in a vast, inhospitable expanse. The heart of the desert has always remained unconquered, swallowing up any attempt at settlement or permanence. Abandoned outposts and half-buried ruins are silent witnesses to the desert's power to erase human effort. The challenge here was not just to bring water, but to hold back the ever-shifting sands that threaten to reclaim any progress. Every step forward is a battle against nature's relentless advance. The very idea of desert aquaculture, of raising fish and cultivating life in such a hostile waterless place, seemed impossible. How could water, let alone life, survive in a landscape where even rivers vanish beneath the sand? Yet it was precisely this daunting challenge that inspired a bold vision, to transform the Taklamakan from a symbol of lifelessness into a thriving hub of aquatic activity. Through innovation, determination and sheer human will, the desert began to change. To succeed here would mean overcoming some of nature's toughest obstacles, defying centuries of expectation, and rewriting what's possible, not just for the Taklamakan but for deserts everywhere. The breakthrough came not from construction, but from geology. Scientists confirmed a vast underground sea beneath the Tarim Basin, fed by ancient mountain waters. This aquifer, ten times larger than all the Great Lakes combined, was a relic of a greener past. The water however was highly saline, useless for crops or drinking, but a potential boon for salt-tolerant fish. What seemed a flaw became an opportunity, the perfect conditions for desert aquaculture. 
The discovery provided the missing ingredient, a sustainable water source for life in the desert. The challenge shifted to engineering, how to bring this ancient water to the surface and create a thriving ecosystem. The hidden ocean was about to transform the Taklamakan forever. With water secured, construction began on an unprecedented scale. Engineers excavated vast basins lining them with high-density polyethylene to keep water from vanishing into the sand. Solar panels abundant in the desert sun, power pumps and aeration systems, making the project self-sufficient and green. The choice of fish was crucial. Carp and tilapia, resilient and salt-tolerant, became the pioneers of this new habitat. Automated sensors monitor every aspect of the ponds, from oxygen to salinity, ensuring optimal conditions. The result, shimmering blue ponds stretching across golden dunes, each a carefully managed ecosystem. This fusion of engineering, renewable energy and biology has turned a wasteland into a productive food source. The desert silence is now broken by the hum of technology and the splash of thriving fish. It's a high-tech oasis, built to last. The true genius of the project lies in its circular self-sustaining design. Fish waste, rich in nutrients, is pumped from the ponds to irrigate salt-tolerant crops like salicornia. These plants stabilize the sand, absorb nutrients and purify the water, which is then recycled back to the ponds. The result is a closed-loop system where nothing is wasted. Fish feed plants, plants clean water and both hold back the desert. This approach mimics natural wetlands, creating a resilient ecosystem rather than a simple fish farm. The landscape becomes more productive and stable over time, improving itself with every cycle. It's a living demonstration of biomimicry, learning from nature to build regenerative systems. The Taklamakan Oasis is proof that ecological principles can drive sustainable innovation. Here, technology and nature are partners, not adversaries. Creating an oasis in the sea of death was never easy. Sandstorms threatened equipment and solar panels, forcing engineers to develop robust protections and rapid cleaning systems. Extreme heat and cold pushed the limits of both technology and biology, requiring constant adaptation. Aeration systems ran overtime in summer, solar-powered heaters kept ponds from freezing in winter. Salinity fluctuations demanded sophisticated water management, while predators like foxes and birds forced new defenses. Machinery breakdowns in this remote location meant on-site workshops and a skilled maintenance crew were essential. Every day brought new challenges, but the team's dedication and problem-solving spirit kept the project alive. In the Taklamakan, resilience is as vital as innovation. The most striking result is the transformation of the landscape itself. Where there was once only sand, green plants now take root, stabilizing dunes and enriching the soil. The ponds increase local humidity, making the microclimate more hospitable. Insects and birds have returned, drawn by new food sources and water. Migratory birds now rest and nest here, and small mammals thrive in the growing vegetation. The project has sparked ecological succession, a new food web is forming, with each species supporting the next. This is more than a farm, it's a living island of biodiversity in a sea of sand. Human intervention guided by ecology has become a catalyst for nature's own recovery. The Taklamakan is no longer silent, it's alive with promise. The project's impact extends beyond ecology. It's transforming local communities. Hundreds of jobs have been created from construction to aquaculture, providing stable incomes in a once struggling region. Locals have gained new skills, learning to manage solar power, advanced sensors, and sustainable water systems. The fishing crops produced here improve food security and diversify the local economy. Sea asparagus and fresh fish are now valuable products in regional markets, sparking new businesses and opportunities. The project has brought pride and optimism, empowering people to shape their own future. Residents are no longer just survivors of a harsh land, they're pioneers in a global experiment. Environmental progress and social development now go hand in hand at the desert's edge. The Taklamakan Fish Project is more than just a local triumph, it's a shining example of what can be achieved when determination meets innovation, even in the most unlikely places on Earth. It's a lesson for the world, a story that resonates far beyond the borders of the desert, inspiring communities and leaders everywhere to reimagine what's possible in the face of adversity. In an age of environmental crisis, when so many landscapes are threatened by climate change and resource scarcity, this project proves that even the harshest, most inhospitable environments can be revived with bold ideas and ecological thinking. The transformation of barren sand into a thriving oasis is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of collaboration. 
The project's circular design, where waste becomes resource, demonstrates how we can close the loop and create systems that sustain themselves. This approach offers a model for sustainable food, water, and land management everywhere, showing that solutions can be both practical and visionary, benefiting both people and the planet. It's a call to rethink what's possible, to challenge the limits of our imagination, and to see opportunity where others see only obstacles. The journey required vision, risk, and relentless optimism, qualities that are essential for anyone hoping to tackle the world's toughest problems. Every step forward was a leap of faith driven by a belief in a better future. These are the qualities needed not just here but everywhere as we face global challenges like food insecurity, water shortages and environmental degradation. The oasis in the sea of death stands as living proof that humanity can be a force for regeneration, not just consumption. It shows that with the right mindset, we can heal and restore even the most damaged ecosystems. The swimming fish of the Taklamakan are a symbol of resilience and hope, thriving where life once seemed impossible. They represent the promise of renewal and the rewards of perseverance. They remind us that with creativity and courage, we can overcome daunting challenges and create new opportunities for future generations. Together, we can build a future where both people and planet flourish, turning even the harshest deserts into beacons of hope and possibility for the world.